Hello, hello guys and girls and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are talking more about Harry Potter Quidditch Champions because within the last 15 minutes a trailer has been released, some more details about the pre-order, loads of stuff have been released. I've not watched the trailer or read the thing so this is going to be all live reaction, we're going to break it down, talk about what's in the trailer, watch it together, it's frame by frame, we'll watch it through first of all straight away then we'll go back in, inspect it, all them things. Let me know if you're excited for the game, if you're going to be pre-ordering, what your thoughts on the trailer, what we'll see. Um, just all your thoughts on this game because of course I want to hear everything about it. I will be playing, live streaming it all day of the 3rd of September. I'll be taking the day off from work just to play it on YouTube with you guys. Hopefully with some friends in the YouTube community as well. If you're excited, give leave a like, subscribe, join me at Discord, follow me on Twitter. But without further ado, let's just get into this trailer and then read up about the pre-orders. So here we are, official trailer, welcome students. Let's watch it through one time and then we'll have a look at each little thing, try and dissect it and have some fun with it. Attention students, the day so many of you have been waiting for is here. The path to the Quidditch World Cup begins now. Your careers will take you to larger and larger venues as you compete for various championships. If you're looking for even more competition as you sharpen your skills, you'll find there are many ways to compete against the best of the best. With enough hard work, talent, and practice, who knows? You may end up on the world stage competing for the most prestigious prize of all, the Quidditch World Cup. When it comes to the wider competition, you may come across some well-known faces. And yes, I know how many of you like to express yourself. All athletes are encouraged to style themselves however they desire. All right, that's enough chit-chat. Now get to your brooms and get to work! So, there we go, that's the trailer, nice and short, first of all, I'm thinking, is that Luke Yumbra again, obviously he was involved in Hogwarts Legacy playing um, Ernest Claptap, the, the Ravenclaw guy, and also voiced a few other characters, it does sound a bit like that nasally sort of voice, obviously as Lee Jordan, which is the commentator, that's definitely being heard and explained it all, so it'd be really cool if they did get Luke Yumbra back for this to do the commentary and all that fun. Um, but yeah, so first of all, let's just go back. Um, let's have a look at this area. So we've got a Daily Profit, Quidditch, about Ginny Weasley, so obviously um, a load from there. It'll be fun if we have like a little trophy room where you get to see the sort of achievements you've unlocked. Um, you know, the trophies, a bit like you're doing pro clubs in FIFA actually, like the, the leagues you've won, things like that. You can go in and investigate it all. Um, and then yeah, so we just play it from here. Attention students. students! The day so many of you have been waiting for. we've got the quiz pitch. So right here, obviously this is online gameplay. There's three minutes left. We've got a snitch by in the middle. So again, I'm wondering if you have to go through and try and capture a snitch. I'm just going to shut my window. So sorry about that. But yeah, so here we go. We're playing. We've actually got gameplay. It looks fast. It looks fun. The little boosts. Um, this looks like the Quidditch World Cup Stadium. You've got other France, you know, like France, Belgium, like Argentina. Um, Obviously, it looks like a game of online gameplay. Um, the sort of border, oh, that's interesting, right? You can't go everywhere. There is like a little border of the pitch, and you can't leave the pitch and fly about anywhere you want. So, first of all, single player career mode. I'm just going to let it play, and then again, we'll talk about it. Your career. So, we've got Durmstrang here confirmed. So, I think you'll be able to play as one of the three schools Hogwarts, Durmstrang, or Bobaton, um, and start there. Whether or not, I'm interested in seeing if you get to play as the whole team or if it's just a player career or if you get to pick which one you play so you can play a certain position so here's and here's Bo Baton of course um, 
looking absolutely stunning and beautiful the sort of bluey skies um, I, I wonder who you'll be playing as I'll probably be boring basic first of all and go for Hogwarts but it'll be funny if there's an achievement where you've got to play in Durmstrang playing Bulbaton and work your way up and larger venues as you compete for various so, World Cup Quidditch so there's the Quidditch Cup Again, with the online, with the single player career mode, will it just be Hogwarts to World Cup, or will you get to play in an actual Quidditch league where you can play for the Holy Harpies, the um, you know the um, Wombats, um, the Chugly Cannons? Um, it'll be interesting to see if you can play for them, Puddle May United, or if you just go from Hogwarts or Bulbaton to the World Cup. I hope there's an in between stage and you have like an actual league and competitive um, sort of like national league rather than just going straight to the World Cup, because that'd be a bit boring. Then, of course, we have the mode we knew we definitely were having, the online competitive mode. I like how it says competitive. I hope there's a league system, again, where you start in, like, the Quidditch, you know, the lower Quidditch leagues, and then you can work your way up as a World Cup mode, and you sort of work your way up the leagues to the highest stadiums. You have a pretty small stadium to begin with, again, like pro clubs, and then you can, once you win everything, you unlock, you know, the biggest stadium, the craziest stadium. If you're looking for even more competition as you sharpen your skills, you'll find there are many ways to come. So yeah, so we get mud. I wonder if the weather actually affects things or if it doesn't in this game. So when you're playing in the rain and mud, you know, it actually affects anything or if it's just a cosmetic sort of uh, aesthetic thing. But I do like how there is different weathers. Heat. And I do, in fact, it's interesting. Let's just go back. So is that ring, so that, what, what's that ring for? Is that from the snitch? So yeah, again, the way you try and capture a snitch is through fly-through rings, just like it were in the old Harry Potter games, best which is cool. Best. With enough hard work, talent, and practice, who knows? You may end up on the world stage competing for the most prestigious. So yeah, boots. I mean, yeah, there's a bit of power in that shot. So holding on the the quaffle sort of zooms up, and it is a powerful shot. So these got to be different world powers. I can't wait to win the Quidditch World Cup. Again, we knew about this, so like, I I'm guessing there'll be a more it's like Harry Smith spitting it out like like on it. You got Cho Chan Malfoy wrong again, hitting himself just like in the first one, and then creating your own. So these are like so. Look, we've got speed, durability. So I'm guessing you're gonna have to buy them with gold or with different sort of things. So we'll definitely have to have a look at that. So it's Epic Skin Firebolt Supreme. So it's got an Epic Skin, but we, you upgrade it yourself by playing, which I like. I like that. So you get to upgrade it. So you, there's a skin, that's cool, but you actually upgrade the broom yourself. Again, look, there's modern, there's classics, um, vintage. So different, loads of, of different like stuff. Um, and again, helmets, legendary, these don't actually seem to have an effect. Um, the helmets and stuff. Yeah, none of these actually seem to have things, but yeah, lots of different customization. But the broom stuff, very cool. All right, that's enough chit chat. Now get to your broom. We've got the Icelandic Stadium now, the Nordic, as it was called in that game, which I can't wait to play it again. And there, yeah. So not too much in the trailer in terms of lots and lots of things, but your next chapter takes flight first September, which I can't wait. Um, available digitally and um, obviously replacing it. Post the deluxe edition is available and it's installs November 8th, but I will be getting it straight away. So standard edition available. Blah, blah, blah. It's just the uh, stuff about PlayStation Plus. See, it said it was going to be available on Switch, but I don't see anything about it there being on Switch, which is interesting. Um, Pre-order on Xbox Game and Epic Games get the Firebolt Supreme Broomskate. So, but standard edition of the game on Firebolt Supreme Broomskate, available from September 3rd with PlayStation Plus. So I'm still going to get the deluxe one, but I, you get the Firebolt skin anyway with PlayStation Plus, which is nice again, so I'm sort of partnering with them. Um, and then this, so deluxe edition, you get 2,000 gold, which I'm guessing you can either use to upgrade or to buy sort of the cosmetics. And you get to pick your houses and get a special broom and one for each of the house, which is cool. And again, it will then talk about the stuff that we get with Hogwarts Legacy stuff. So yeah, there we go. It's a pretty short and sweet trailer, but let's just unpack a few things before we finish up. So there we have it guys, some really fun and interesting things we got to see there. I still want to know more about the career mode, whether it's player or you play as the whole team, the progression of it, I hope we get to see. Now we've got a month to go, you know, it's July 29th now, there's a month to go, hopefully we get deep dives, sort of like little pitch notes on the career mode, so a whole like sort of page on the website just to explain the career mode or a video on it. 
things about the online competitive mode will there be divisions rankings how it works do you have your own set club with your friends or is it just freestyle matches you can play anytime and you yourself progress some things on the upgrade so we still don't know a lot about this game and they have a month to talk and show us through this with clever marketing hopefully they use the hogwarts legacy style marketing that was really really successful but some really interesting things that i've read off their website Nintendo Switch is going to be coming this holiday season, as you can see I'll have that on the screen from their frequently asked questions. The deluxe edition will cost $40, so it'll be about 30 quid. I still can't pre-order on my PlayStation at the moment, and when you go on the website you can only pre-order on Xbox and PC so far, which again is a bit odd, you can take it to the PlayStation website. Go look more into that. But there we go, lots of interesting things. Are you excited for it? Are you going to be pre-ordering it? Let me know your thoughts down below. Um, and yeah, hopefully we hear some more stuff where we'll be able to talk about it more in the coming month before release date where I'll be playing it with you guys on the screen and hopefully with some YouTube friends. So yeah, until the next video guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all later. Bye bye.